Let's say a customer just went online and placed an order for 400 truck wheels. The ERP, the Enterprise Resource Planning System, receives the online order from the web. The ERP will insert the order for truck wheels in the SQL database. Here's the first example of the database being utilized across the enterprise. Sales management wants order analytics, right? Because the SQL database is the central storage of complex information, order analytics can be pulled from the SQL database along with other context information if required. Who purchased it? How long did they research these wheels on your website, etc. Meanwhile, the MES, the Manufacturing Execution System, is orchestrating the production lines and telling each PLC what to make and when to make it based on orders received from the ERP. Periodically, the MES checks the SQL database for new orders. In this case, the MES just found a new order for truck wheels. The MES trigger message causes the sorter PLC to query the SQL database with a select command for sort instructions. The sort instructions are downloaded to the PLC and the PLC sets the machines in motion and sorts truck wheel stock into the production line headed toward production cell 1. As the wheel enters the production cell 1, the PLC scans the barcode on the wheel stock which says truck wheel. The barcode triggers the PLC to select a recipe from the SQL database. The select query looks up truck wheel in the database and returns a thousand parameters to the PLC associated with how to manufacture the truck wheel. By the way, a key component in the middle of all this is T-Manager. T-Manager is the transaction manager that periodically looks for MES updates, then uses the select command to query information from the SQL database. It contains the map between the SQL tables and the PLC tags. It writes these thousand table values to the PLC tags. The T manager is how the PLC gets the recipe to manufacture the truck wheel. After the wheel is manufactured, T manager has another useful SQL tool called the insert command. T manager can use the SQL insert command and insert production metrics back into another SQL table. For example, a summary of production results and other context information like operator, cutting blades used, hours, etc. The insert command can be used for monitoring production line metrics, auditing, track and trace, or key performance indicators because production metrics with context is extremely valuable for optimization. Here's the bottom line. Applications like high speed sorting, recipe download, track and trace, quality monitoring, and performance monitoring are complex data that puts a burden on your PLC. PLCs need maximum performance to do what they do, manufacturing. SQL database, an existing plant system, can be leveraged and this will lift the burden from your PLC because storing and moving information is exactly what an SQL database does. And finally, when you connect your PLC to an SQL database, a powerful OT to IT convergence occurs where information can be shared for business analytics and as we saw, information can be shared to increase production performance. Now let's watch Quentin bring this together in a live demo of T-Manager where he's going to connect control logics to an SQL database. 